So John o, a 3-2 victory down at Gloucester. Um, that's broken the away duck and um, got us a great result. Yeah, fantastic result, I think. We didn't start the game very well. Um, obviously, they, they scored after, I think, three or four minutes. Um, we, we, we started very sluggish, a bit lethargic, and um, it took us a while to get going. Thought once we got the, um, the goal back to make it one all, you know, we were back in the game. But unfortunately, we had you know a couple of injuries. We had to take Gooks off after 10, 15 minutes because he's done his groin, which is a massive shame. We had to make a sub early doors. And then obviously, big Will Thornton's got his head sliced open. Um, so we had to bring him off as well. So first half was a bit of a weird one, really, because um, you know we had to change a couple of players. We had to change shape, and um, you know I just said to him at half time, you know, just settle down a little bit, be a little bit more brave on the ball because we were giving sloppy passes away. And then um, obviously he scored the goal to make it 2-1 off the set plate, set piece. And you think it's, it's going, is it going to be one of those days? But. The guys are just unbelievable, they show a great character, they fight for each other. We started actually playing really really well after that, you know, moving the ball from side to side, getting our full backs forward, causing them a little bit of um, panic in their defence. Probably should have had a penalty. I thought the referee made some really bad decisions in the game, which killed us a little bit, but we never gave in and we get the goal back and uh, as soon as we get the goal back, you know, it's one of those, can you, can you hold out for a draw or can you go for the win? And, I think I turned on to Blotty and said, I, I think we're going to win this game. And, uh, you know, what a strike by Lewis Maloney to uh, to uh, to win the game. You know, absolutely unbelievable 25 yard out, top corner to win 3 2 away from home. So everyone's absolutely buzzing in the change rooms. And um, as you said, obviously we had a couple of changes in the first half um, and the players had to sort of change formation. How well did they do that and adapt during the actual yeah, game? Yeah, it took, well? them a, it took them a while. Um, just being saying to the players in there, you know, um, what. Why I'm so happy after the game today, not just because of the three points, but I think you know it's always hard when you've got players who haven't played for a while, you know, being left out of the team. Um, so Watto, Plancy, you know, Dan Bramall, um, I'm not sure if I missed anybody else out um, who's, who's not been getting regular time, but the, I thought they, they all came into the team were absolutely exceptional. And um, Dom Tier as well, Dom Tier I thought was absolutely brilliant today, his energy levels. Um, I thought the whole team, the subs who came on, were, were absolutely fantastic. Uh, I thought Burt's centre half, he got two or three blocks in right in the face, banging the centre of the goal to, to keep him from scoring. It was just a really overall unbelievable team performance, not just by the 11 who started, but the subs who came on as well. And um, they deserve everything they get and they deserve to get three points today because their attitude is, is first class. And that's the, the most pleasing thing is that you've got players who sometimes deserve to be in the team and they're left out and can be disappointed um, but their attitude to the team and to their teammates is, is incredible and they came on today all, all of them who haven't been playing regularly came on and were absolutely first class and now uh, we look towards um, Buxton midweek um, a team that we played obviously last year and came up with us um, do we need to maybe bring in one or two players just to yeah it's just injuries? it's just yeah it's, um, hopefully big will should be okay for Tuesday. Um, we need to assess Gooks on Monday. Um, he just felt his groin go a little bit, so that might be a more tricky one. But yeah, with obviously Bakulo being out as well, we need to try and get somebody in. But even if we can't get anybody in, we've got players who um, I know can play in different positions, can play out of position and do an unbelievable job. So um, we'll be going to Buxton with full confidence after winning today. And um, you know, um, we owe them one from last year at their place, which probably wasn't our best night of the year. So um, all the boys are determined to put a good performance in and get a good result um, to make up for last year, really. So um, listen, you know, absolutely delighted, you know, with the whole team, with, with everybody, the way things are going. We're not getting too excited as in, you know, going to win the league or anything like that, but we we'll just keep taking one game at a time and trying to put our best performance on and try and um, be as entertaining as we can, which I think we are. I think if there's any neutrals here today, they'll, they'll th thought it was a great game. So. Uh, we're trying to be entertaining, we're a hard working team, we've got a great team spirit and let's see where it goes. Cheers, John.